Good morning. Namaste. So here I am again. Uh, sat in my favorite spot. It's a beautiful morning. Not quite as as glorious sunshine as, as previously. I think there's a little bit of haze around. But it's actually warmer than, than it has been first thing in the morning. Um, so very nice. Um, yeah, and I've come up to my, my usual spot, sitting here in the peace and calm, <laughs> which I definitely needed this morning. Um, I made the mistake of, of listening to the news uh, and scrolling through my Twitter feed first thing. Uh, and so, you know, the headlines are all about V Day. V Today is a public holiday, by the way, in the UK. Uh, to celebrate VE Day, and so of course all the all the newspaper headlines are about you know our glorious veterans and you know the usual patriotic stuff, which is ordinarily I suppose it's fine, except it's 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 at the expense of you know the real news, which is actually that unfortunately the UK now has the not so esteemed position of being you know number one in terms of total deaths from from COVID-19 um, and a large n number of those are being caused by uh, the way that this has been handled and in particular in reference to those who are sick and, and dying currently in our care homes so I've tried not to get political in these videos but forgive me if, if, I, if I take that opportunity this morning. Um, I've tried to view this pandemic and the government's handling of it as a, uh, objectively as I can. It, you know, it is a difficult situation, no doubt. And at the end of the day, you know, politicians are, are just men and all men have feet of clay. Um, but with these guys, you have to wonder, and you know, that they, they have feet of clay and they've put them into boots made of lead or something. It just now to me feels like okay, you have to take a view, view on this that, that this, this is something beyond incompetence. Uh, and that they seem to be trying to already to to pass the buck on to you know other people scientists I think are going to be the fall guys in this case um, yeah so it's the injustice of it that, that that's irking me as you can tell so just as well I, I have this place to come and <laughs> to try and calm down and forget about it um, I turned again to Marcus Aurelius to see what, what he had to say about this and again I could have chosen one of a dozen uh, paragraphs to read from this one's a good one injustice is a sin nature has constituted rational beings for their own mutual benefit each to help his fellows according to their worth and in no wise to do them hurt. And to contravene her will is plainly to sin against this eldest of all the deities. Untruthfulness too is a sin and against the same goddess. For nature is the nature of existence itself. And existence connotes the kinship of all created beings. Truth is but another name for this nature, the original creator of all true things. So where a willful lie is a sin because the deception is an act of injustice, an involuntary lie is also a sin because it is a discordant note in nature's harmony and creates mutinous disorder in an orderly universe. For mutinous indeed it is when a man lets himself be carried, even involuntarily, into a position contrary to truth. 
seeing that he has so neglected the faculties nature gave him that he is no longer able to distinguish the false from the true. Absolutely. Some of our politicians would do well <laughs> to take heed and read some more of Marcus Aurelius' writings. Anyway, forgive the rant. Um, it's shaping up to be a beautiful day, um, and I hope you're safe and well wherever you are. Namaste.